Hi guys! This weekend I popped into Primark to have a look at their autumn range and I was actually really pleasantly surprised at the things I found. I accidentally picked up quite a bit so I thought that today I would show you what I bought and give you a bit of an insight into what Primark is selling at the minute. Autumn is actually I think my favourite season kind of along with summer and winter. I'm such an indecisive person, it's a joke. But yeah, I just like the darker clothes, I like the cosy jumpers, I like the leaves that change colour, I just like everything about autumn. And I also want to say that when I went to Primark this time, I've never noticed before how different their sizings are. Like some of the stuff I bought was a size 6 and some of the other bits were a size 14. But the first thing that I got was this jumper. It's a really thin wool, it's just plain grey and it's very long. It's got a little bit of a slit up the side, only a tad though, and it's got a zip down the back probably to about halfway. I really liked this because it's really oversized. I mean, I bought this in a size 6 to 8 and it's massive, and I also liked that it was thin wool, because even though winter is getting closer, there are still a few days where it's not as chilly, so I think having a light jumper will be really handy. I mean, you could either wear this on its own and stay a bit cooler, or you could layer it and build it up and be a lot warmer so I just think it's going to be really easy to wear and it was £10 but then the next jumper I got was this big woolly jumper the woolly jumpers are back and I'm very happy about it I got this really oversized as well so that I can roll up the sleeves and I just think it will look really cute with black leggings and some comfy slippers or something like that. It's really thick material so it's going to be really nice and warm which is a massive contrast to the last jumper I showed but this was only £8. The next thing I picked up was this black blouse. It has a necktie bow thing around the collar. If I had just seen this on the shelf I probably wouldn't have picked it up but on the mannequins all around the store these were under every single jumper. This same blouse looks amazing on every outfit and that's purely the reason that I picked it up. Or again you could just wear it on its own with a pair of skinny jeans and heels maybe that might look quite nice but this was also £10. Next up I picked out this skirt it's a really weird material, it feels kind of like it should be a scarf, like a woolly scarf, but it's just this really nice wine burgundy kind of colour. But when I bought this I had in mind wearing it with that cream jumper and a pair of black tights and little black boots or something like that. But they also had these in like a khaki green and also a beige colour I think. And this skirt was also £8. The next thing was a bit of a spontaneous buy, I kind of just saw it and I was like oh I've got nothing like that, okay I'll have one of them, but I didn't really think any more about it. But I do like it's this really thin green jumper and it has a v-neck that's what drew me to it because I never wear v-necks and I'm getting a bit sick of these like round collars so I thought I would give this a whirl and see what it looks like it has tight sleeves but they start quite far down and the rest of it is very oversized so it's kind of like a bat wing sleeve it has this strip down the middle I'm not really sure why or how but again this is very thin even thinner than the first jumper so I think this would be great for layering with vest tops scarves jackets all that jazz it's just a very very casual jumper and that's what I liked about it and it was only five pounds the next one I got is kind of similar to this one that I'm wearing today actually but this one that I'm wearing is from new look but anyway the next thing is this orange jumper it is a bit lighter than the one I'm wearing I think that justifies having two <laughs> but again this is a very thin jumper although I still think it would keep you nice and snug because it's tight fitted but I think with the black blouse and tucked into a pair of skinny black jeans this could look really smart actually and this one was six pounds Primark actually have in stock some really nice autumn boots so I decided to pick up a pair. I chose these ones. I don't think they look like Primark boots. I think they look really good quality for how much I paid. They're kind of just like this suede material and then they have the fur around the top. They had them in this sort of beigey colour. They had them in a more tan colour and they also had them in black. But they're furry all the way inside, it's not just around the top. So they are actually really comfortable and they are super warm and cosy as well. I can just imagine these in a really good Instagram picture, kicking through some of the brownie orange leaves in the woods or something. That is a picture I want to take in these boots. <laughs> and these were only £15. The next jumper I picked up was from the pyjama section, but I'm not going to wear it as a pyjama top, I'm going to wear it as an actual jumper. I probably would never wear it out, but I thought for days where I'm just in the house editing, lounging around, whatever, my inner nerd has emerged. It is a Harry Potter jumper. <laughs> I'm so lame. I'm literally such a loser. The sleeves are kind of like three quarter length. I don't know. I like it. I bought it really oversized. Thought it would look cute with black leggings. Maybe. Can I pull this off? Probably not. Can I make it cute? Probably not. But whatever. It looks comfy. I like Harry Potter. 
I am a fan. And again, this was £10. I think the next things are my favourite things that I got when I went to Primark this time, and they are some really cute pyjamas. The top looks like this, it's grey, and again, it's really oversized. The neck hole is really big, so it's going to be really comfortable to sleep in, and the sleeves are fairly long. They just have a little pink pocket on with a little bear. Is that a bear? Yeah, it is a bear. With a little bear poking out, and they had loads of pyjamas with this little bear on it. And on the back, it says free hugs, which is me in a nutshell because I love hugs. <laughs> and then the bottoms to go with them look like this. They have pink and white stripes. It's the same pink that's on the pocket of the t-shirt. Again, the little bear is on the corner. They have a few buttons down the front and a little bow tie. They're grey around the top and around the legs and they're kind of tight all the way down but especially at the foot so I really like those and I just think they are a really cute pair. The top was £6 and the bottoms were £6 too so £12 for a new set of pyjamas is not bad if you ask me. The next thing I got has been staring at me from the bottom of the bag since I bought them home. I was dying to wear these last night but I had to wait until I'd filmed this video so you are welcome. But they are these little slippers. They are memory foam slippers. Memory foam from Primark. Who would have guessed it? And they had these in quite a few different colours as well. There was navy, burgundy, a more tan colour and I think black too. These were the lightest pair and these were the ones that I liked the most. On the bottom they are plastic so you're not going to slip around everywhere when you're in the kitchen or whatever. And they were only £4 and they are so comfortable and warm and I just think so all to me. That was all the clothes I bought. Now on to sort of stuff. The first stuff I have bought are these. How could I not? It is autumn. Autumn means Halloween. I hate Halloween personally but I thought these were really cute. It's a little headband with two little pumpkins on. They've got googly eyes and they're sparkly. What's not to love? And they were only two pounds, so I was like, whatever. I'm gonna live on the wild side. I'm gonna get something for Halloween and it's only September. Then, of course, how could I not? I am 100% sure that every single one of you watching this video knows about this, but Gabriella, aka Velvet Ghost, has teamed up with Primark and has bought out a homeware range. It's been out for quite a while now, and I know it's limited edition, so it might be sold out in a Primark that's near you. But I picked up some of the stuff from Gabby's homeware range because it is all so pretty and it's such good quality for the price you pay. I went there quite a while ago and got a few of the bits then. The things that I picked up then were the throw, which I'm sitting on right now. This was £11 and it's the softest thing I have ever felt in my life. I mean, I have had a phobia of dogs for the past 17 years, but I think if dogs felt like this, I would be a fan of dogs. And that's saying something. <laughs> so I have the throw that was £11. I have the cushion back here, the sequiny one, but it looks super cute doesn't it? Yes it does. I also got the fairy lights. I'm not sure how much these were either. I know I'm an awful person but they have rose gold glitter on them and I'm actually in the transition of changing my bedroom to being completely white with like rose gold or copper accents. So these look very very cute in my bedroom. I am a fan. When I went last time they'd actually sold out of this but I found it this time. I got the heart-shaped mug from Gabby's collection. It's only three pounds. Have you ever seen a heart-shaped mug before right now? No, you haven't, have you? Me neither. Look at it, it is cute. It is in the shape of a heart, 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 heart. Can you see it, can you see it? And the final thing that I picked up from Primark was this blackcurrant and forest plum candle. Isn't this? Just the smell of autumn in a nutshell. Yes, it is. It smells like, hmm, black currants and forest plums. It is so nice. Do you know what I can't wait for? Sunday mornings when it's raining outside, you've got a little film on, you're tucked up in bed with your 11 pound velvet ghost throw and you've got this black currant candle lit next to you. I need to stop because I'm going to pass out with the thought of that. <laughs> and these candles are only £2. So that is everything that I picked up at Primark this time. There's a little glimpse at Primark's autumn range this year. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. My Primark hauls tend to be my most popular videos. So if you have come from elsewhere, please do subscribe down below. We are a lovely community of lovely people who have lovely thoughts and say lovely things. So please do join us and you will have one hell of a time. I upload a new video every Thursday at 5pm, so that's the thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see your lovely faces again next Thursday. Bye!